No, you did not do it. I need to run. Okay, do it, run. No. <laughs> and the expert show you how to do it. Okay, hold the camera. And this is with a 10 kg backpack, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bert, and welcome to my channel. So for the first trip of 2019, I'll be exploring Taiwan. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you along to the places that I'll be visiting. At the same time, show you the behind the scenes of how I capture my cinematic sequences. So if you want to learn how I make my videos, keep watching on. We are here at our first location, Lotus Pond. There are a few attractions here, so it's definitely worth visiting to capture some good travel footage. When I'm at locations such as this, I love to launch my drone to get some epic aerial shots. And here's a quick tip. I like to launch my drone far away from the actual location, so as to not garner any unwanted attention. So if you're a filmmaker and you find a girlfriend that's willing to wait for you 40 minutes to get your drone shots She's a keeper She's a keeper So right now, I'm gonna switch to my sniper lens The 70 to 200 f2.8 I just got this lens recently uh, You can get shots of other tourists without making them feel super uncomfortable So excited to try this out Okay, I'm done with the first location the clips you just saw were shot on the 70 to 200 G Master. Uh, all the clips were handheld, so if you're impressed by how stable it was, you should be. So now we're gonna head back to the hotel to get some rest because the girlfriend is slightly angry that it took so long. She waited about um, one and a half hours for me two to. Two hours. Two hours. Pretty sure she round up. Yeah, but we took about two hours, uh, including the time lapse and the shots. Uh, but I'm really happy with the shots I got here and I guess it was worth making her a little angry uh, but I'll buy her some food later to make it up Okay, after a quick rest at the hotel we are on to activity or location number 2 we are going to a night market this time I'm going to travel light so I have the 55 1.8 on my camera uh, on the A7 III body the reason why I chose this lens is because it, uh, it's a, it has an aperture of 1.8 so it's good for low light conditions, which is usually the case at the night market. Uh, I'll also be bringing along my A6500 with the 16mm 1.4 mounted on it. So, let's go. Okay, so we are here on the location. This is Ray. What is this? This is Ray Fung Night Market. So like I said, I'll be filming with the A7 III with the 55mm. But I'll be pairing it with the Jean Crane. So I'll put it on the gimbal. So we're going to get smooth shots. I'm now going to put together a cinematic sequence for you. Enjoy! Okay, and we're back from the night market. As you saw, I started raining, so I had no choice but to keep my camera. Lucky for me, I managed to get enough shots to create a cinematic sequence. Uh, as for the night market, it's uh, love the food, hate the crowd. Still worth going. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys found the video useful. And with that said, it's a wrap.